Hello world, Stephen Michael Zach here, and today we're talking about the wonderful world of clamps. That's right, these are all the clamps that I use in my daily workflow. Now first off, let's start out with the most obvious, and that is the C47, or what normal humans call a clothespin. That's right, these are normally used for clipping diffusion and gels onto your barn doors here and they are very lightweight, very simple, and super, super cheap. You could pick these up at the dollar store for next to nothing. Now, I am not a big fan of clothespins. I have a lot of them, but the problem is they have a tendency to twist and break very, very, very easily. The solution to that is what we call a zero or a mini clamp here. You can get this at any home store, and I just prefer these better. They're stronger, they're smaller, and they just clamp on very easily, and you are not going to, they're not going to break. So really love these. I highly recommend the zeros over the C47s or clothespins as we normally call them. So definitely recommend that. The next clamps are these black plastic clamps. Now, you can get a whole bunch of these uh, literally anywhere in packages, and they're great for pinning your green screens, your diffusion, for clamping your, your blackout curtains, really great for anything fabric. Now, the only downside is a lot of them do have these pieces that kind of remove. Uh, not a huge fan. They do make some where they are attached, so look for those over these. But if you need some some if you need clamps like this, just go to like Walmart or like the dollar store and pick up a bag. Uh, they are super super useful for a whole bunch of things. Next up, we have these clamps that I got at any you can get at any home store, and these really are fantastic. Again, I use these for pinning green screens. I use these for holding sandbags. I use these for for clamping cables together. Really, you can use these for anything. Now, I especially like to get the ones with the holes in them because I usually take a quarter twenty here. And that allows me to spin on like a small light or anything else that I need uh, and clamp this somewhere useful. So really love these. Uh, I would These are super cheap. I would definitely recommend having a whole bunch of these uh, for clamping multiple things. Next up are the mini super clamps. And again, these are really fantastic. I find myself reaching for this so many times a day. Uh, these are fantastic. They're fairly strong. Uh, they do have rubber bits inside that do tend to come off. This is made by Small Rig. Uh, so the, the rubber pads inside are not great on any of them. But again, very useful. They do have a 3 8 and quarter 20 here. You could take a quarter 20 to quarter 20 adapter, spin that on, and again, spin this light on very easily and just pin this to uh, anywhere you want. Or I primarily use these for uh, putting phone holders on and then I'll clamp a little power pack in and attach this to my camera. And it just works really, really well. Um, so these are very invaluable as well. And of course, they do make mini ones. Now they don't they don't have the clamping radius, so they don't really clamp around anything that thick, uh, but they do have more of these like little spinny things. I like these. These are actually hold it on a little bit better. And this is just a little bit more of a, a lower profile version of this. Both very, very useful. Next up is a clamp, sort of, and that is this clamp right here. And this is a duckbill clamp. And primarily this is used in photography, but say you're a one-man band and you need to bounce some light, well, and you're by yourself, well, all you have to do is take your five-in-one reflector, go ahead and pop that up, and then we'll just turn the little knob back here and angle where you want it to go. And there you go, you pretty much have full control over where your bounces going and you don't need somebody to hold it. So very, very, very useful. Uh, I find myself taking this clamp on trips uh, and bouncing light when I'm in a hotel room because I can't take a whole bunch of lighting with me. And it, I just find it super, super useful. The next clamp in my arsenal is this specialty clamp. This is a Nine Solutions double python clamp. And this thing is fantastic for putting things together. Now, I have clamped this to a C-stand and then I've clamped a metal bar in here and I've rigged lights off this thing. I've had four of these and I've rigged up a whole frame and put up a whole softbox with a black curtain with these. Uh, these things are fantastic. They are a bit pricey. 
and I believe you can only get them on the Nine Solutions website now. Um, Adorama or B&H might have these. They used to sell them on Amazon. I don't think they do anymore. Uh, if they do, they're very expensive. But these are well worth having. I have used these for years. They are a beast of a clamp uh, and really great uh, if you're doing some kind of like metal rigging with metal, uh, metal rods, metal poles. So... Very, very, very cool. And what I love best of all is once these things are locked in, these are, are rock solid. They're not going anywhere. You're not going to, you're not going to, this is not going to budge. So very cool specialty clamp. At last but not least, we have my favorite clamp, and that is the Super Clamp. This thing is a fantastic clamp. I have these all around my studio, one holding my follow focus, one on my monitor, some holding up the bars for the back wall. I have them all over the tube stretching wall spreader. Even the arm that's holding my camera is attached to one of these super clamps. Now, these things are super invaluable. I find myself using and buying these constantly. And there's a good reason why these things are rock solid. Now, I do suggest that you get either the Impact brand or the Lime Studio brand. Uh, every other brand I've tried is pretty bad, unless you're, you're buying them on Frodo ones, which are really, really expensive. But the Impact ones, I believe, come in under $20. Uh, very, very, very useful. They come usually with a pin like this, uh, with a, a kind of like a baby pin on one side and a quarter 20 on the other. And you can kind of pop this in. And I have mounted the Aperture 100 and 200 MRN X on these uh, and clamped them to C stands and light poles. Uh, these things are rock solid. Plus, you can go ahead and buy an extra spigot that has a 3 8 and quarter 20 on it. Now, I highly, highly recommend that you get the ones made out of actual metal. Do not buy the aluminum ones. They tend to kind of shred and rip apart. Uh, so make sure you get full metal. I believe this is the Manfrotto one. Um, so if you're going to get a pin for these, get something substantial. But the best thing about this super clamp and what I primarily use these for is uh, for mounting my V-mount batteries by using the Godox V-mount battery plate here. Now I've done a review, it's right there, but all you have to do is pop this in like so. Let's go ahead and unscrew this a little bit more. Pop that in like so, tighten that up. Make sure that's good and tight. And then just pop in your V-mount battery, hook this up to a C-stand, pop in your D-tap cable, and you are good to go. This is a baller combination. And I will tell you that the Godox, I think, is like $15. This comes in about $18. Um, and if you have some V-mounts already, uh, this is a great combination. And it is probably, at the time of the recording of this video, the cheapest you can get away with um, clamping your V-mount batteries to uh, your C-stand. Although, there is one other thing. I think it's $35. In fact, I have one. Let me show it to you right here. And that is this clamp right here. Yes, you can get these for $35. They're like a mini clamp with a V-mount. Uh, the problem is these have a tendency to break very easily. Uh, so I would definitely recommend going with something a little bit more substantial, especially if you're using big, heavy V-mount batteries uh, because these do not really hold up. So that's it. Those are the clamps that I use, but I wanna know what clamps you use. So leave your questions and comments in the notes below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to mash that bell button to be notified when we drop a brand new video. And feel free to use the links below as it helps out the channel. I'm Steven Michael Zach, and this is How I Clamp.